Hello guys, it's Brittany here and welcome back to the Playroom and to the long-awaited Polarina collection video. My collection has grown a lot since my last Polarina video and I'm going to try to remember all of these doll sculpt names for you and show them all one by one. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> I hope that you all are having a wonderful day today or night and welcome back to my channel and to the Polarina collection video. So we're going to go ahead and start um, at this end of the dolls guys and I'm going to try to remember every doll sculpt name. Now these dolls are listed in different names on different websites so I'm just going to give you the sculpt name that's listed on the particular website that I purchased the doll from. So the first doll that we have up is a boy doll, which is super cute. This is going to be Lewis. He is listed as Lewis on Dolls and Dolls and Diversal. So Diversal and Dolls and Dolls both have this doll listed as the Lewis sculpt. He came as a full set and I just think he is super cute. Beside Lewis is going to be another full set doll. And this doll is listed as Christy on Dolls and Dolls, which is where I purchased her. Christy is gorgeous. She's one of my favorites. I love the Christy sculpt. Um, and she's listed as Christy. The next doll beside her is going to be another full set that I also got from Dolls and Dolls. And she was also listed as the Christy sculpt. Next beside Christy is going to be the Manica sculpt. She was another full set. I believe I got Manica on Amazon UK. Um, now, Manica did not come with the purse. I added the purse. I gave her that. <laughs> but she did come with everything else. And that is full set Manica. And beside Manica, we also have another full set doll. This is going to be the full set Nora in the African attire. And she's probably my favorite doll of the collection. I love the Nora full set in the African attire. I think she's so pretty and detailed. She was a little more expensive, but I do think she was worth the money because she does have a lot of really pretty details on her. And that is full set Nora African attire. Beside Nora, we have another doll that was not a full set. She was a nude doll and I actually found this dress on eBay and put her in that. Now this doll was listed as Carla, but I've seen her listed as another name on a couple of other sites. But that's the name that she was listed when I purchased her. And I purchased Carla on Dolls and Dolls, I believe. Next to this doll, we have another doll that I purchased as a new doll. And her sculpt name was listed as Lou. Lou with the long hair. She also looks a lot like Manica. And I'm going to say that I've also seen her listed as Manica with long hair on Amazon. When she was listed on Amazon. So... Yeah, that's one of the dolls that's been given two different sculpt names on different websites. But regardless whether she's a manic of long hair or Lou with long hair, I think she's gorgeous. And I found this outfit for her on Etsy. And I love the outfit. I just think she's so cute in that outfit. But that is Manica or Lou with long hair. The next doll up is going to be another doll that I purchased as a new doll. And this is Kalayla. It's spelled K-A-L-A-L-A-H, <laughs> I think. Anyway, we're just going to call her Kalayla, but she's really pretty. I found this outfit for her on eBay. I think she's super beautiful in it. Um, very fall inspired, but that is Kalayla, and she's another one of my favorites. I really love this doll. Next to her, we're going to have another doll that looks like the Christy sculpt, but I purchased her on Diversal, Diversal Dolls, and she was listed as Ginger. So we're going to call her Ginger. Now, I purchased her as a new doll, but I found the outfit on dollsanddolls.com under the Polarina section. So this is a Polarina outfit, but I purchased it separately and put her in this outfit. So this is Ginger in a Polarina outfit. I love her, by the way. She has the best hair. Her hair is super soft. But next to her is going to be another 
Carla's sculpt with long hair. I think she's Carla with the long hair. And I think I found her on Amazon UK. Now, I found this outfit on Etsy as well. I got it for a really good price. And I just think she looks really cute in this outfit. But that is Carla with the long hair. Next to her, I have another Lou sculpt. She is listed as a Lou sculpt, but I've seen her as another name on other websites. I actually found this outfit on dollsanddolls.com and it is a Paularina outfit, but the doll came nude. So I just thought she was really cute in that. And I actually changed her body. So some of these bodies I have changed to articulated bodies. And this is a vinyl articulated body from Coco Beanie on Instagram. Next to her, I have another really cute doll, and I think she's listed as Erin. She's been listed as a different sculpt on different websites as well, but she was a new doll. I found the shoes on eBay, and the outfit was on eBay as well. So I thought she looked really cute in that, but that is Erin, and she was a new doll also. Next to her, I have a Lou sculpt, and this is Lou with the longer hair. The outfit I found on Etsy, and she was a new doll. So this is a new doll. The outfit was put on her. And I also switched her body out to an articulated body. And this is one of the hard plastic bodies that I found on eBay. And I love these as well. I really do think I like the vinyl ones better, but I like the plastic bodies. I mean, they're, they're really nice. So I don't think you could go wrong with either one. Next to her, I have my two 60 centimeter Polarina dolls. Now this one is gonna be 60 centimeter Marta, um, and she was a full set. So this is the outfit that Marta came in. I love her outfit. I think it's super pretty. I love the shoes. Give you guys a quick look at those boots. They're super, super cute. She is articulated, so the 60 centimeter dolls are articulated, which is really nice. They're full vinyl, and she just has the prettiest face. I love her face. They all have the inset eyes. They all have the eyelashes, um, and they all have really great hair. So that is Marta. And then next to her, I have the 60 centimeter Lydia. Lydia has a darker brown eye and she has the dark brown hair. And that's Lydia. This outfit I actually found at Walmart. I want to say that this was a zero to three months. I did have to hem it up and take it up a little bit in the back, but it looks really cute on her. I have to say, I really love these two larger dolls. In front of those two, we have the Cleo sculpt. Now, Cleo, I purchased nude. I like the fact that she came with the earrings. They're molded on earrings, so they're just like, that's really cute. I did put her on an articulated body, and there's a video on my channel of me swapping her body out. It's a really good video, so take a look at that if you haven't seen that, guys. But this is the harder plastic body, and I really do like the hard plastic bodies. I like the vinyl ones, but the hard plastic bodies do have a little more articulation. I'll just say that. But that's Cleo. I found the outfit in my closet. <laughs> it was the doll outfit that I already had. Next to these two, we also have another loose sculpt, and she is with the long brown hair. And this doll I purchased nude on Diversal. It's very similar to Dolls and Dolls. They have a lot of different doll brands, and the shipping is okay <laughs> depends on where you are in the world um, but they definitely get to you sometimes it just takes a minute um but she was a new doll i did find this outfit on dolls and dolls under the polarina section so this is a polarina outfit so i thought it was really pretty and so i bought this outfit for this doll i think she just looks really good in it and i love the fact that she has different colored eyes so lou normally has dark brown eyes but this particular scope has blue eyes so I'm wondering if she is misnamed um, and if she's actually supposed to be a different sculpt name. But that was the name on Diversal. That was the Lou sculpt. So that's Lou with the blue eyes. Next to her, I have another full set doll. And this is full set Carla, I believe. Um, she's another one of my favorites. I love her green eyes. I love her haircut. She has this cute little bob. 
and I love her outfit. So she came with this outfit, her shoes, socks, and all. And I just think she's a really pretty doll. She's one of the next dolls that I think I want to add an articulated body to. Because I just think she's so pretty. And she kind of deserves it. But that is full set Carla. Next to her, we have another full set doll. And this is full set Dasha. And Dasha has more of an amber color eye. She does have the freckles. And she looks a lot like Carla. Um, the only difference really are the eye color, in my opinion, and maybe the hair is different, of course. But her sculpt name is Dasha, and I love her outfit too. I just think she has the cutest outfit. Can we talk about the boots? I love her boots, and I love her, her little stockings. Um, but that's Dasha. Next to Dasha is going to be another Lou sculpt. She's listed as Lou. Um, but she's listed as Lou in red. So this is Lou with the red hair. Um, and she is also a full set. And I'll give you guys an up and down look at her adorable outfit. I also switched her to an articulated body. Um, and this is the vinyl articulated body. Isn't that outfit adorable? It just reminds me of women's. So that's Lou in red with the full set lemon outfit. Next to her, we have the adorable Chris. He's listed as the Chris Sculpt, and he is also a full set. This is his outfit, which I think is super, super cute. I love his shoes and his jeans, and I love his little dinosaur shirt. So that is full set Chris. And next to Chris, we have another full set doll, and this is full set Katano. Katano is really cute. He has the same shoes as Chris, but he has on a khaki short. And then he also has on the most adorable Mickey Mouse outfit. So he has a Mickey t-shirt underneath the jacket. And then the hoodie or the jacket is also a Mickey inspired jacket, which has little Mickey Mouse all over it. It's so adorable. I love this doll. I love his sculpt. I think he's just really pretty. He has the same sculpt as the Cleo sculpt. Um, but they named him Katano. Next to Katano is another Lou sculpt. Now, she's been renamed, I think, and she has a different sculpt name now. But she has the shorter black hair. And I bought this doll nude, and I found the outfit on Etsy. So, it fits her perfectly. It looks amazing. I found the boots on eBay, and they just go really, really well with this outfit. But that is Lou with the short hair, and I just think she's absolutely adorable. Next to her is a ginger sculpt. She's really a Christie sculpt, guys. Like, I don't know why these are listed differently on different sites, but I bought her on Diversal, and she was a new doll. She was naked, and her sculpt name was Ginger, so we're gonna call her Ginger. Um, but she does have ginger hair, so that's one thing. But I found the outfit, again, on Etsy. These two outfits were from the same seller, and they included the hats, which I thought was really nice. So there are those two. Next to these two, we have another doll that I purchased nude. Well, they all come with underwear, so they're not completely nude. But she's listed as Rosalie. Um, I bought her on Dolls and Dolls, and again, she was a nude doll. I purchased the outfit separately on Dolls and Dolls, um, and I just put Rosalie in this outfit. Again, she looks just like the Cleo sculpt, but they had her listed as Rosalie. So this is Rosalie, and she was from Dolls and Dolls, and I just love that outfit. I think it's super cute. Next to Rosalie is going to be another full set Nora. As you guys can tell, I really love the Nora sculpt as well. Um, now, Nora came with a full set, so she came with the hat, she came with a jacket, and she came with a really cute dress, but it wasn't my favorite, so I purchased this dress for her, and I did change out her dress, but it matches the jacket and the hat perfectly, and I just love her so much more in this outfit. I also purchased this bag for her so she could have a bag, and then I put her in these shoes that I found on eBay, so I did change her up a little bit, and I also gave her an articulated vinyl body. So this is Nora and she was bought in a full set, but she's been changed up just a little bit. And I love this doll. She's so pretty. She's so much fun to play with, but that is Nora. 
beside Nora, we have Barbara. She's listed as the Barbara Sculpt on Dolls and Dolls and Diversal, I believe. So they have her listed as Barbara on both websites, if I remember correctly. Um, now she's a full set, so she came with the adorable, cute little pink headband. There is her adorable little face. She looks just like Cleo. Um, she has this really pretty floral dress. And then she has these adorable teal stockings and then black shoes. So that is Barbara. Last but not least, we have another doll that I purchased nude. Um, well, she had underwear, but she was listed as Claudia, I believe. However, I've seen her on Diversal also, and she's listed as Astrid. So whether her sculpt name is Astrid or Claudia, I don't know. But she was listed as Claudia when I purchased her. But she's really pretty. Again, she was nude when I bought her. I found the outfit on Etsy from a lady who makes Paula Reina clothes. And I love the dress on her. I also switched her out to an articulated doll body. And I think she's just adorable. And whether she's Claudia or Astrid, I'm not sure. But she's really, really cute. And that is it guys for my entire Paula Reina doll collection, including the two 60 centimeter dolls, which comes to around 23 and a half inches. The Las Amigas dolls, which are all of these smaller Paula Reina dolls are 12 and a half inches, if that helps any. But anyway, if I mispronounce any of these sculpts, please feel free to let me know below. And which one is your favorite guys? Do you guys have a favorite Paula Reina doll or do you even own any? Let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, I love you to the moon and back. Stay safe, be kind, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.